So you want to animate shade your character, but you have no idea where to start. Not a problem. Now there are as many shaders as there are styles of anime. The specific style that we are going to try and replicate is the one from Arc Systems Guilty Gear. But this style really requires you to completely change your 3D model and workflow. And what I mean by that is the shader is actually a really small part of the look. You can dump the shader on your model right now, but if your topology is not built for it, and you didn't adjust your normals, and you don't use Arc system square UV texture and techniques, it's just gonna look like real, cheap, fake, wannabe anime. So if that sounds like a lot of work and you really don't want to change the way you topologize, texture, and UV map, I highly recommend that you try an easier, simpler anime style like Genshin Impact. And just so you understand what the difference is, on the left side is a texture map from Genshin, and on the right is a texture from Arc Systems. The left side is pretty much a standard texture map, which means you can basically use any standard UV mapping and texture and techniques that you you are comfortable with. Arc Systems, however, uses their own special square UV mapping technique, and there are very good reasons for why it's set up the way it is. However, it does take a lot longer to create. Personally, I like the way Arc Systems looks a little better, so that's the style that we are going to cover this month. I've spent a lot of time trying to figure this stuff out by talking to people like Ruki Kuri and Yuli, who I believe do it better than everyone else. I'm a big fan of their work, and I'm not sure if their commissions are still open, but the face shadows for our character in Macrophage were actually done by Ruki Kuri herself. The members and the patrons were able to save up just enough money to hire her, and we all think she did a fantastic job. So shout outs to both of them for being so awesome and helpful, because a lot of what I'm about to show you, I learned from them. Okay, so if you join me next video, I'll tell you about some of the most useful resources that I think you should have or know about before we get into it. As always, thanks for watching, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.